Hey guys, welcome back. It's Jeanette here and in today's video, it's going to be long so I'm letting you know now. Go grab your drinks and come join me because today I am going to be going blonde. So that is super exciting. I'm super nervous but I'm super excited because I haven't been blonde in a while but my good friend Michelle is going to be coloring it so if you're watching Michelle, hey! And I thought it would be a good idea to make a video about going blonde from dark hair because it is a very common question that a lot of hairdressers, including myself, get in the salon when people sit into our chair and they expect us to wave a magic wand and make them go from super dark hair, years of box color, and in like an hour they want to be like silver ash color. And people seem to be very surprised when my fellow hairdressers and myself tell them the price of going blonde. but. I thought it would be nice to kind of show the ins and the outs, so the process, the work that's put into it, how much product that we have to use for a lot of girls that have a lot of hair like me and it's super long like me, and yeah, so it's just more just to kind of educate people, just so people can see why long hair costs so much, especially when you're going from such a dark color to a light blonde. Not an excuse for people to do this at home. In this video, you'll see Michelle coloring my hair and you can kind of get an idea of how long it takes to go from dark hair to light. And you're gonna see how much product she's gonna be using. And you're gonna kind of understand why long hair costs so much when you come into the salon and ask your hairdresser the price. The price seems to be the biggest thing that people seem to get so shocked over, but I feel like after this video, you'll kind of understand why. That's the main goal because it's a common question and I just want to tackle that because as you notice, a lot of my videos have been about trying to answer a lot of common questions that my clients or friends and family have. So hopefully this video is educational. Stay tuned and yeah, I'm just waiting for Michelle and we'll get started. is doing her consult with me and assessing this so we'll see what happens we'll see how light we can get <laughs> so we are mixing and there are two different bleaches in here but there's two ounces of that only the hairdressers will understand this but this is our first batch we are using Oligo Black Light. I really want to try this out on my own hair. I've used it on my clients and they all seem to love it so far. We're gonna start off 20 ball and super excited. Go Michelle, go. <laughs> Okay, so excuse how crazy I look, but... So Michelle, tell me, how long have you been doing hair? Um, almost about 12 years, coming into May 2020. It's been almost 12 years. I started this when I was 18. 
It's a very it's long time. Straight out of hair school. So, you know, when it comes down to processes like this, you're not just paying for product and time use, you're paying for skills done, right? Like, if you want to get a certain hair color done, you got to pay for it, right? It's like this kind of stuff, it takes a lot of work. We're standing on our feet all day. And not only is it like painful for us hairstylists, we're literally like leaning on to one end and the other. Just sure that, you know, we're comfortable doing your hair, right? And like, so you're paying for skill sets, like nice hair. <laughs> Ain't cheap, cheap hair ain't nice, right? <laughs> no, you get what you pay for. Literally. No, nope, really good points. And that's coming from another hairdresser. So I'm not lying when I say this because you want nice hair, you don't want ugly hair. So we just want to get you there, but you have to trust us. Yeah, and like stuff like this, just, um, just know that like, not everybody's hair is gonna look the same way. I've been doing Jeanette's hair before she even started the hair school here. True story. And I remember the first time I ever did Jeanette's hair, like her hair did not lift. It was like back in the day when peekaboo highlights were so in and she wanted like white blonde. Can't believe you remember try. that. <laughs> I still remember that. And I, and like Jeanette just didn't understand at first why it took so much time, right? No, but. You know, it took the second try and her hair like actually went that light blonde. I'm also very impatient. So I understand exactly how you guys feel when you hate that first process because I hate it too. I go home and I dream about it until I see you next. But yeah, yeah. so it takes it, a it lot takes, of patience. Yeah, but like that's the thing. Like can someone get white blonde or like a beautiful blonde pearl ashy color in one try? Is it yeah. realistic? No, it's not realistic. So when it does go that light, like that means the hair gods were on our side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> nope, very good explanation by Michelle. Let's see the product. Second bowl. What three? Three. Three bowls of lightener. So I have to get to four ounces then? Yes. Okay. On bowl four here. I'm getting closer to my face. Let's see how much work Michelle's doing. Let's see how much foils is in the bag. Bowl five. I'm gonna run out of lightener soon. Eight? Yeah. Eight bowls for my hair. Do you see how much work Michelle has to do? And this is why she charges what she charges. This is why I charge what I charge. But at the same time too, the, um, you're gonna find somebody that wants to do this. Right? Yes, you don't want someone that will just be like, okay, yep, got it. And then you turn out not looking like what you wanted. Yeah. So exactly. find someone that is passionate and loves doing hair, like Michelle and me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are done foiling all of my hair. It's a lot of work. Thank you, beautiful Michelle. <laughs> no problem. So this is a lot of work. She took very thin sections. This is why long hair costs a lot of money. <laughs> it took how many bowls? Eight bowls of lightener. So do the math. 
And that took us how many hours to do Two and, all? A, half. Two and, a, half Two and hours a half hours to foil all of my hair. And Michelle's fast, so do the math. <laughs> Now Michelle is checking my foil. Let's see what it looks like. Mm. It's getting there. We're probably looking at like some pieces are like a level eight, almost oh, wow. seven. And then the rest would be probably nine. And I'm not really going under heat. We're just kind of keeping the product warm so it can work properly. Not really touching my head. The basement gets cold, so we just want to make sure it's working properly. work this is. You have to physically go in and make sure it's all lifting evenly. Yeah, so here, like where her natural is, we'll go really light because that's virgin hair. And then you can see where there are spots here that are a little bit more darker because she had previous color on there. I'm just taking these out first because it doesn't really need to be on anymore. I don't want to melt the hair off. No, of course not. No right? chemical haircut today. Okay, this is the ugly stage that every hairdresser is always turning the chair away and they're like, don't look at it. <laughs> don't look at it. <laughs> but what it looks like. Yep. And now we are going to tone. <laughs> okay, so she just did the roots and now she's mixing another formula, which is going to be it from the mid. Because you can see it's a little bit darker here, so I'm probably gonna do like an ombre of some sort, but my life is in Michelle's beautiful hands. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. you um, see how much things. we have to work and do yeah. so many steps. I look like a crazy person. <laughs> no, here I am the craziness on the floor. <laughs> but looking a lot better, less crazy. That's three bowls of toner. So now she's going on the ends. Lots of work, that's for sure. That looks so cool. <laughs> okay. So that was how many bowls? Three? Three, three bowls, yeah. Plus three bowls of toner, nine bowls of lightener. So that's a lot of product. Mm That is so pretty. So guys, here it is. Um, when a hairdresser- Over six hours later. <laughs> six? Almost six hours. Yeah, something like that. But okay, so if a hairdresser likes the color and it's in the bowl, it's a good sign. <laughs> yes. So this is nine bowls of bleach, a thousand foils later. A so nine foils. bowls of bleach, two and a half hours to foils back to back. Uh, very light uh, heat, as you really don't need heat. As a hairstylist, we don't really need heat very much, but um, nine, so, um, nine bowl of bleach, a thousand foils later in two and a half hours, um, three bowls of toners, um, a lock and seal. It's a color uh, lock for longevity of color. And now just a hair mask to seal everything in. You gotta help those poor babies. Yeah. 
So excited to see what it's gonna look like dry. Mm -hmm. Hang in there, guys. We're almost done the video. <laughs> okay, I'm blonde. I still gotta dry it, but I wanted to show you guys this because it's very important. When you go blonde, you are going to expect some breakage and I shed a lot of hair anyway on a normal basis. So I do want to show this and just be honest with you guys. It's going to be graphic. So just give me a sec. I don't like looking at this, but as Jeanette said, she shed quite a bit, but this is the ends that didn't survive. It's breakage <laughs> and it's expected with blonde. Yes. All right. Well, we are done for the day. That only took like almost seven hours and good job, Michelle. Thank you. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Do you yeah, like it? I feel pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what you call an ash blonde, guys. This is warm blonde. Yes. So ash, ash warm. <laughs> so you can Same see, level, but just you can see how different it looks depending on what tone you want. Oh yeah. So use this to explain to your hairdresser when you do want a cool tone versus a warm tone. That's so pretty. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. All right, so what do we think? It is super, super long. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, it was a super long day and Michelle was probably tired. If you're watching Michelle, thank you again for doing my hair and putting up with all of that product. But hopefully that was educational, helpful to some of you and hopefully that helps with anything that you might want to do in the future of your own hair. But. I guess that's it and I'm just gonna end the video here but hope you guys have a good rest of the day wherever you are and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys! <laughs>